to build the world's newest generation of modern aircraft, like the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter, the aerospace industry is turning to carbon fiber composite materials as a replacement for aluminum and titanium. When you're building an aircraft out of these materials, you typically build components and then you have to join the components to, to create the final structure. And joining the, of those components is most effectively and efficiently done by adhesive bonding, not by using mechanical fasteners. Giles Dillingham's company, BTG Labs in Cincinnati, Ohio, are specialists in surface chemistry and adhesion issues. The performance of those adhesive bonds depend on the molecular structure of the surface, literally a, a layer that's only two or three molecular layers thick. And what didn't exist was an effective and uh, appropriate way to monitor the surface composition of these materials in a manufacturing or in a repair situation. BTG Labs believed the best way to build such a surface analyzing device was to base it on the shape water droplets form on a surface. If that drop beads up, the liquid molecules are very strongly attracted to one another. If that drop spreads out, those liquid molecules are feeling a very strong attraction to the surface. And that is very predictive of how an adhesive or coating is going to behave to the same surface. Using this principle and with funding from an Air Force SBIR contract, BTG Labs built a handheld device called the Surface Analyst that could quickly analyze carbon composite and other surfaces. So I've got here a piece of, of carbon fiber reinforced bismal imid. This is an aerospace composite. And we've prepped part of the surface for adhesive bonding. The rest of it is kind of as received as it's been sitting out in the warehouse, all right? You can't tell the difference as to which parts have been prepped and which haven't. It all looks the same. But if I take a measurement on the part that hasn't been prepped, all right, I put a little tiny drop of water down. All right, I establish an average contact angle of about 70 degrees on that surface. What that means is the water's really kind of beating up. Now, if I take a measurement on the area that we've cleaned by simply wiping it with a solvent, what I see is here I'm getting a contact angle on that drop of 54 degrees. So the drop's spreading out more. That tells us if we put an adhesive on that surface, it would stick more strongly. By including use of the surface analyst in its manufacturing processes and field repairs, Lockheed Martin estimates it will save tens of millions of dollars in production costs on the F-35 while helping maintain the superior performance enabled by the use of advanced composite materials. Other F-35 manufacturing partners are also rolling this out at their facilities. This is the first technology that's, that we've been involved in developing under SBIR support that has been pulled strongly into industry. And we're selling, we're selling quite a few of these instruments now into automotive industry, um, into medical device, electronics, consumer products. Every industry is concerned with how well a paint or an adhesive or coating adheres to a surface. The surface analyst is manufactured and assembled at BTG Labs facility in Cincinnati, Ohio. The company is now working on a surface analyzing system that can be integrated into automated assembly processes. We're currently working on a project with Lockheed Martin, um, funded by DARPA, and the, the purpose of this project is to create um, the technology that will allow construction of a fully adhesively bonded aircraft. In other words, no, no mechanical fasteners in the primary structure. Uh, it's a very challenging project, but we have very good probability of success. A few drops of water, some American ingenuity, and an Air Force SBIR contract. Changing how we design and build in the future.